so I still don't have any coffee at home because I still haven't gone grocery shopping. So I'm walking over to get us coffee right now. Had another 6 a.m. morning, seven o'clock now. It's really cold. That morning light. if I could throw a little Christmas party on Friday at her house she said yes she got a new house so that's why it's like I have to go back and like see what it's all about and stuff like that I really want to thank you guys for following along and being super patient with me I finally feel energized again I'm just super excited to be creating stuff right now and I think the last two years for whatever reason I think I was just really burnt I mean since out of high school I was doing the blog I would through college and I had a part-time job in an office and then I was doing the blog part-time so I was just like always 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 working and even when I was working in like fashion and had my nine-to-five I would do that all day and then I would go home and then I would work on my blog or answer my blog emails or, or whatever like administrative stuff I had and I just did that for years where I would work all day on other things and I'd come home and do my blog stuff and I think from doing that schedule for like five to eight years to transitioning to working for myself was like really hard. I just didn't know how to organize my life and I'm still trying to figure it out so I just became extremely overwhelmed. That's kind of why I had like a creative stifle the past two years. I tend to be like really, really scattered brain. Even like talking to these vlogs, I edit so much out because I'm truly so scattered brain. But I'm actually feeling really good this time around and I'm feeling like 2018 is truly gonna be a good year for me. I like feel it in my bones. I just like am trying to ground myself and truly reset for the new year. Anyway, I just wanna say thank you again for your support and your patience. And also I'm sorry if I was a little a little catty the first couple days of vlogmas putting myself and my personal life back online in such an intimate way and even getting weston to be a part of it it was a little difficult i'm not gonna lie i did have one breakdown where i was just really really overwhelmed with like feeling like i had to please everybody i understand that like putting yourself online you can't please everybody people are gonna say things that you don't want to hear i feel like the people who were saying things weren't haters most of you guys are probably people i'd be friends with like in real life so i never felt like a hater it felt more like someone's opinion that i would trust would would say judgmental things and that really hurt me anyways if you guys don't know what i'm talking about don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm more so addressing that like I was really catty off the bat when people started to um, leave comments about my relationship. I don't know, I've been talking a lot now, my throat hurts, and I am just gonna make it to Cindy's. Hello. Are you so tired of cameras in your face all the time? Yeah. Hello. Uh oh. Ow. That just bumped into my butt. Choo -choo. Show me your new bedroom. Choo -choo. Okay, Fine. so then let's do a walk-in. You, you like it that hot? Jeez. <laughs> There's a plug there so then you can charge your phone, etc. Okay. And then this is simple. If you feel cold in the uh, morning when you take a shower, uh huh. This is the heater. Wait, just let it. And here? then I'm gonna live here now. No, this is the bath, that's gonna take care, care of the house for ten days. Just because you guys got iPhones doesn't mean that you should be on them the entire day.
guy seeing all the kids who really took over this vlog camera. So I'm excited to see what kind of footage they put on there. Also, my arms are like ripped right now from surfing. And when I was doing my workout yesterday, I wasn't like trembling at all. I was actually pretty impressed. But I actually really, really, really miss surfing now. Can't wait to go surfing next. Who knows when that will be though. It's 11 o'clock and Weston wants to eat breakfast or lunch already. What's wrong with that? Costa Rican time. Yeah, it's a valid point. Oh, so you're so jet lagged? Yeah. Nang la. We probably come here about once a week. Where did the day go? It is 4.40. I just got this package from BB Dakota. To be honest, I'm more excited about having these garment bags than I am the actual garment. <laughs> Ooh, so it's properly cozy. I'll wear it right now. This is definitely like my Newport mom kind of outfit. Oh, very nice. I got this velvet blazer. Cute. It would be really cute with like a, a belt. Throw on a nice leather beret and this is just a belt from another dress. Very cute holiday looks. What else is in here? A thoughtful present. This is from my friend Vivian. I was just thinking about wanting some chocolate. Oh my god, oh my god, yes. Maybe this will cheer you up. Because you said you wanted chocolate, right? Okay. Okay, I look a little crazy. So much traffic at the Grove. Everyone wants to go to the Grove. This is the closest I'm gonna get to Disneyland. So I'm enjoying the Grove. Look at this. Yeah, you're vlogging still. <laughs> Look at how wild this is, guys. It is the best thing ever. I finally feel like Christmas. It's not even cold though. That's the thing. I'm cold. That's why I'm wearing this big ass jacket. <laughs> Look at this. Bar the Grove. <laughs> We're groving. We're groving. Yeah. We're groving. <laughs> Doesn't she have proud Viet Mom face? I do. I look like what a Viet Mom. Proud of? I'm like proud of my friend. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't 